Well, they asked the judge, they sent a note, they have to do everything in writing, and they wanted some clarification on something that was listed in the indictment. They wanted clarification on the amendment that was referenced in count three. Now, that amendment is a $12 million amendment related to Inland Waters, that Inland Waters project that was related to that giant sinkhole out in Sterling Heights back in 2004. Now, federal prosecutors say Kwame Kilpatrick and Bobby Ferguson schemed together to hold up that amendment until Tony Suave's company agreed to give Ferguson $350,000, but the defense has maintained that Inland Waters made $138 million on that deal and that there was no extortion involved. So we'll see what the jury decides on that particular count. Yesterday, as we reported, the jury did ask to see several different exhibits. So far, no decisions have been made, and they are not expected to make this decision quickly. But of course, as we know, with this case and with any jury, anything, of course, is possible. Reporting live at the Federal Courthouse in downtown Detroit. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Yeah, I don't think it will be quick with 70 pages of jury instructions, 40 count or close to. They've got so much to consider. But Heather, how significant do you think is this note that they sent to the judge today regarding this information? I think it was actually rather procedural. The way it was worded to us was it looks like they were just trying to clarify this. And with that particular contract, there were actually five different amendments. And in the indictment, it didn't re reference Amendment 4. So I think they were probably just trying to make sure they were talking about the right amendment as they were going through all the counts. So much they have to consider, Heather. And I know we've said, we'll say it again. You'll be there every step of the way. And we will uh, bring the verdict to our viewers as soon as we get it. Thank you very much.